First Chronicle, I mean First Corinthians chapter fifteen. For I deliver unto you first of all that which I receive, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and he was buried, and he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That's the gospel. And Jesus said, Go in all the world and preach the gospel. We have Matthew. Matthew chapter 16. And we're not going to do any doctrinal things today, you know, discussions and problems. We're looking at plain, simple text. And I say unto you, I say unto thee, that thou art Peter, upon this rock will I build my church, and the gates of hell, the gates of hell, Matthew, Matthew, chapter 12, verse 40. For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Now, Paul told us the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scripture and was buried. And arose again the third day, according to the scriptures. Jesus tells us, as Jonas was three days and three nights in the well's belly, so shall the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth. <clears throat> and we read a passage that said that hell has a gate. And when we go to Jonah chapter 2, Jonas... Greek, there's a Greek, Jonah chapter 2, and Jonah prayed unto the Lord his God out of fish's belly, all right, Matthew 12, and said, I cry by the reason of my affliction unto the Lord, and he heard me, out of the belly of hell. Verse 1 said, the fish's belly, out of the belly of hell cried I. <clears throat> verse 12, uh, verse number 1. I went down in the bottoms of the mountains. As Jonas was three days and three nights, so shall the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth. I went down to the bottoms of the mountains. The earth, with her bars, was about me. Yet thou hast brought up my life from corruption. Now, Jesus saw no corruption. What is corruption? It is when after four days, Martha says, he stinketh. Let me tell you something. And this is rarely believed. And let me stick my neck out to the Baptist guillotine. That Jonah died. And Jonah went to hell. And Jonah resurrected from death and from hell. As Jesus Christ died. And was buried. And arose again the third day according to the scriptures. The gospel. Son of Man to be in the heart of the earth. There's no reason to look at whales and how a man could survive in a whale and how long can a man live inside a whale. Jonah did not live in the well. He died and he went to hell. His body began to corrupt inside that whale's cavity being digested. Because he wasn't there for four days, like Martha said. He stinketh. He, he was in there for three days and three nights, according to Jesus. Well, how did he start stinking? His body began to be dissolved by the stomach acids of the whale. And that Jonah gives us the story of the gospel of Jesus Christ 
according to the scriptures, that Jonah died. Jesus Christ died according to the scriptures. Jonah was buried in the stomach of the whale. Jesus Christ was buried in the tomb. Jonah went into hell. Jesus Christ went into hell to deposit our sin. And the Bible says he had some preaching to do. And he had the gulf to, to cross and to go over to Abraham's bosom. Because for the one particular man, I said, today we shall be in paradise. And then three days and three nights later, Jonah resurrected, dead, from the, the fluids of the acid of the whale's belly. He says, in hell. And in Luke chapter 16, we have a man that is in hell that's able to talk like Jonah is in hell, able to pray to God. And then the scriptures say that the, the third day that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to scriptures and was buried. And the third day he arose from the grave according to the scriptures. And Jesus gave us a man's name, Jonas, which is Jonah, to his death, burial, and resurrection, which we call the gospel, called the good news. And I'm sticking my, my Bible Baptist guillotine that some will chop off my neck. But I'm going to stick it out and I'm going to make it a statement and you don't like it. I'm going to stick my Baptist neck out and you can chop it off like they did with John the Baptist. If you don't believe that Jonah died, went into hell and came out, out of hell, came out of the death of the resurrection. You have violated the scriptures. You are teaching deceptive teachings. If you say that Jonah didn't die, and I've heard it many times, people say he survived that whale. He never died. And people say that Jonah died and went to hell. I don't believe that Jonah died and went to hell. I've heard it several times out of pulpits, and I'm here to tell you, I'll stick my Baptist neck out to the guillotine. Jonah died, he went to hell, and he resurrected out of hell. He may not have been in that grave four days where he stinketh, but he was in the stomach fluids of, of the acid that the whale began to decompose the body of Jonah. And Jonah said, out of hell cried I. And Luke 16, there's a man that is speaking in hell. I am here to tell you is a Bible doctrinal fact that I convicted, I believe, and I, I believe you don't believe, you are in great error. And I'll put my Baptist neck in the guilt, Baptist guillotine of scholarship that Jonah did not remain alive in that well, that Jonah died in that well. And Jonah went to hell. Jesus died. Jesus went into hell. And Jesus came out of this uh, the script came out of that tomb three days and three nights, according to the scriptures, that is the gospel. Jonah came out of death and out of hell. That Jesus gave us the example. And I believe if you teach otherwise about Jonah, you do great error to the scriptures. And as far as my account, you would do great error. I would almost call you as a false prophet. Sticking my bat, I'm sticking my Baptist neck out for the Baptist guillotine. If you say that Jonah did not die and did not go into hell, and Jesus said that Jonas is an example to his death, burial, and resurrection, 
that Paul tells us that's the good news, and Jesus tells us to go in the world and preach the gospel, I am going to tell you, stick my Baptist neck out in the guillotine, that if you don't believe that Jonas died, you don't believe that Jonas went into hell, and you don't believe that Jonas was resurrected three days and three nights later, as Jesus said, you may be a false prophet. 